On the matter of language, uh, we live at a time when compared to uh, this speaker's youth, first 30 years, first 35 years, language mattered much more than it does today. Uh, it is accepted now that we're all in a rush and we're chatting and we're tweeting and we're Instagramming and everybody has various ways of expressing themselves and abbreviations and, and slang and a person would be accused of being a pedant, uh, a snob, and perhaps even a racist simply for attending to the basic rules of language that uh, used to be uh, sort of from above imposed, but allowing for the percolation of the liveliness of language to come up, but then there was always somebody at the top who was trimming the hedges. So today, there is a looseness and a casualness that is perhaps connected to our age of lying. A case in point is Mr. President. Mr. President is a style. That is to say, it used to be a, a respectful and a term of honor to call a former president, Mr. President. So you could have addressed Jimmy Carter as Mr. President in an interview just to show respect, just the way it is generally considered acceptable in American society to address someone by the title of his last, the style of his last important job. So a former governor could be addressed as governor rather than former governor. His honor, H-I-Z-Z-O-N-E-R, was the New York mayor. Your honor, and then his honor. <clears throat> we have a problem. Mr. President has to be abandoned because we have a former president who has been impeached twice and will likely be indicted for sedition. Therefore, since he claims that he won the last election, which was stolen from him, when someone addresses him, as Caitlin Collins did in the town hall, in the New Hampshire town hall as Mr. President, she seems to be legitimizing his claim in some linguistic way. When in fact, we must remember that we live in a democracy and this whole business of style shouldn't be so important. And therefore, let us just abandon Mr. President. We live in a democracy, as I say, not a monarchy, and therefore a person, a citizen who is elected president of the United States on January 20th becomes Mr. President. When he leaves office four years later, eight years later on January 20th or some other date, he ceases to be Mr. President. He becomes Mr. Clinton, Mr. Obama, Mr. Trump, Mr. Bush, not president. Because now, Mr. President is confusing everybody. So, Ms. Collins and everybody else who's a responsible journalist, <clears throat> abandon, please, the style Mr. President for a former president, and let us just return uh, demotically to Mr. or Ms. whoever. <clears throat>